I'm Major General Henry Williams Testhead. History knows me more as the first lieutenant governor of Ontario, Canada. I took part in the capture of the Fortress of Calais on 13th November 1839 as a lieutenant. I was then only 22 years old. In the northern part of Balochistan stands the strong mountain fortress of Calais. The chief, Merit Khan, had offended the British, and it was resolved to annex his territories to the kingdom of Shah Soja. Calais is a place of commanding strength. The citadel rises high above the buildings of the town. On the northwest of the fort are three heights. On these the Khan had posted his infantry, supported by five guns in position. General Wilshire was sent to capture it, with the two N.T. and 17 T.H. Queen's regiments, the 31st and all native infantry, with two howitzers, four of the Shah's six-pounder guns, and a detachment of local horse. On the morning of the 13th of November he found himself before the place. The engineer officers reported that, until the heights were carried, it would be impossible to proceed against the fortress, accordingly orders were issued for the attack. It was Wilshire's hope, that the enemy, might be driven down to the gate of the fortress, and that the stormers might rush in with them. Gallantly our brave soldiers made their way up the heights, gallantly they were carried, and right nobly the guns were captured. The shrapnel, shot from Stevenson's batteries, fell with too deadly a aim among the bell chief footmen for them to hold their position on the hills. They fled towards the walls of their fortress, and the British infantry pushed hotly after them, but, in spite of all their exertions, our brave soldiers were not in time to secure an entrance, the gates were closed against their advance. 